Hey gang, it's JC, and there is no Daily Dose again today, Thursday, August 26th, 2010. Four months from today, it will be the day after Christmas. Sorry, I gotta do that to you every once in a while. Triple C and I are taking a couple of days off, and I should tell you that uh, her father, my father-in-law, Mike Clark, you can look it up if you want, is a, a former St. Louis police officer, and he's staying here while we're gone. I mention that because sometimes the people will get a bright idea. Hey, you see, he's got an abbreviated daily dose. That means he and Triple C are gone. Let's go hit the place. And all I can tell you is, is that even though Mike, uh, my father-in-law, former St. Louis police officer, has been retired now for many, many years, the funny thing about it is he still really enjoys shooting people. So all I can tell you is if you have an idea that maybe you'd like to come and try to break into the house, while we're not here, you're going to be making him very, very happy. So please, uh, come on by and see Mike, and um, just make sure all of your insurance premiums are paid up and you've said goodbye to, <laughs> to all of your loved ones. <laughs> okay? So that's Mike. Now, I told you yesterday I was going to tell you a couple of stories about when I had the big 10-foot satellite dish. I didn't just have the dish. Oh, the bugs are starting to bite. I didn't just have the dish. I also had all these like little encoders and little descramblers and things I wasn't supposed to have. But, you know, it was back in the day and they were on the black market. It was like, so for $150, I can see into the Channel 5 newsroom anytime I want. You think I'm kidding about that? I'm not, and I will prove it to you on a future edition of um, <laughs> the Wayback Machine or JC's Video Village. I'm not kidding you. They used to have what was called the flash cam. And the flash cam, I think what they call it now is, let's go to Ryan in the information center. And the information center is just another camera, which is just in another place in the newsroom to make it look like something. Let's go to Bob in the satellite center, like two feet away. It's like when we were at KMOX back in the 90s. Let's go to Flood Central now. And Bob has the report from Flood Central. Bob, how are things in Flood Central? Well, everything is doing fine. The flood is starting to destroy. The fl flood central was the microphone next to the news microphone. It's all crap, folks. It's all marketing. So anyhow, uh, I had all these descramblers and decoders and everything like that, and they had this thing called the flash cam. Let's go to Bob in the newsroom. And you'd see him there, and you'd see everybody sort of the newsroom hustling and bustling behind the reporter. That was called the flash cam. But that camera was on all the time, and the microphone was live all the time because the idea was in case there was a bulletin they could just run up to that thing throw a switch and be on the air that quickly without even having to set anything up it was already lit and everything and um, Eric Mink was once uh, using that Channel 5 flash cam to do a report back to New York they said okay they have an uplink at Channel 5 just go in there and so he walks in there and I'm watching the whole thing and I'm listening to the whole thing there was a reporter by the name of uh, Sarah uh, Harlow. Sarah Harlow. And she's very cute, very attractive, and nice gal, by the way. Liked her very much. And, and Eric, when he was writing for the Post-Dispatch, writing media criticism, he had written something not particularly kind about Sarah. It wasn't personal. It was all professional. And he comes strolling in, and, and Sarah sort of gets in his face a little bit. I'm listening to the whole thing from the comfort of my easy chair in my own home. I'm not making that up. And then one other time, Bill Clinton, when he was president, was getting ready to go on with some sort of big, uh, you know, there's going to be a special report from the President of the United States at 5.30. We don't know what it's about. And I start punching around, and I'll be, I'll be goddamn, I am not lying to you. All of a sudden, I've got the live camera inside the Oval Office while he's setting up and they're doing his hair and makeup and everything, and I'm sitting there watching it. I just couldn't believe it. So that's the sort of stuff that we've been collecting over the last 25, 30 years. I got it all for you on old VCR tapes. We just uh, digitally redub it and uh, try to re-enhance it a little bit and throw it up for you from time to time, and we change those features uh, every day. Now, yesterday's eye candy, if you missed the Miss Universe pageant, it's still up there in the archives. Actually, it's right down below here, what you're looking at right now. Miss Zambia, gotta love her coconuts. And I'm not kidding. Uh, today, Kristen Chenoweth, who is the little 4 foot 11 spinner, that's what we call little short little girls who are 4 foot 11, we call them spinners. Ask somebody, they'll explain it to you. And um, she had a cheerleading accident. She fell on something she wasn't supposed to fall on. And she was trying to explain this to David Letterman the other night. And, and Dave was having difficulty understanding what she was getting at. I knew what she was getting at. And so finally she just got up and showed him. 
So you'll see that picture, and you might, you might end up saving that, okay? So that's on JC's Eye Candy. So that's a little abbreviated version of the Daily Dose. Uh, we'll be here again tomorrow with uh, some fresh eye candy, and then everything's back to normal on Monday. So that's it, uh, the non-Daily Dose for Thursday, August 26, 2010. A cooperative venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. And in the meantime, we've beaten this one to death. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.